Hi everyone, my name is Eden and in this video I'm gonna show you how to clean up your car properly if it got flooded whether by four-wheel driving or by storm. Following this video will prevent your car from getting stinky and developing mold. The job is done on Toyota Land Cruiser Prado 120 series but should be similar with other cars. I wanna give you two advices before you start working on your car. First, take a picture of every screw and part before you disassemble it in case you forget later how to reassemble it. Second, when you pull off panels, clips and other parts, do it gently, especially if your car is a bit old. The tools you will need for this job are... Ok, so let's get started. The first thing to do is to plug out the wiring under the front seats. Then we can pull off the seat legs covers and to unscrew the seat legs. Here we will need to unscrew the back seat hook covers. And now we can take all the seats out and to pull off the panels. The easiest way to pull off the panels is to start from one end and to proceed to the other end. In order to pull off the front seat belt panels, we need first to pull off the seat belt lower mount cover and then to unscrew the lower mount. The next step is to unclip and to unplug the wiring of the rear air conditioner control system. Now we can take the rear air conditioner control system out and to unscrew the screw that hold the central console. When the central console is loose, we should be able to pull off the carpeting. Now the carpeting is out and you can see how the car is filthy. Alright, now the carpeting is out and we can give it a thorough washing with the high pressure washer. To make sure that you washed all the dirt out of the carpeting, a good way is to hang it on a clothesline and to hose it until only a clear water comes out of it. In the meantime, when the carpeting is drying on the clothesline, we can unclip and plug out the wiring of the central console. Before we pull out the central console, we will have to unscrew the gear handle and the low and high range gear handle. The central console is out. The next step will be to unclip the wiring from the air conducts. Then we can pull apart the air conducts and to take them out. Next step is to take the foam pallets from the back seat floor out. Here you can see the front seat belt mechanism without the panel. Now what we need to do is to unscrew the front seat belt mechanism. When the front seat belt mechanism is out, it's time to give this place a thorough cleanup. If your car got flooded by mud water, it will be easier for you to start cleaning it only after it got dry. Then you can scrape and vacuum all the dirt. To scrape dirt from deep spots, I used two chopsticks that I joined together to achieve a longer length. To suck out all the dirt from the deep spots, I connected a piece of a garden hose to the vacuum cleaner's pipe. Don't forget to open up the rubber plugs from the floor and to clean up inside them as well. The next step is to clean up the foam under the dashboard and for that I pour the warm water with dishwashing liquid underneath and then I press the foam against the microfiber rag. You know the foam is clean once it's white. Now we'll dry it with the hair dryer. Making some space in between the floor to the foam will make the job easier for you. Just to make sure that you completely dry it, otherwise it will develop a mold in the future. Another place to check for dirt is under the door seals. I use the vacuum cleaner first and then a warm water and a rag. And if you are already in the doors area, don't forget to clean up around the speakers as well. Just be careful there. Here you can see the difference in between the passenger side which is done to the driver side which is still dirty. The backseat floor pallets that you can see on the left hand side are pretty delicate and soft so I don't recommend to use the high pressure washer for them, I would recommend just to use a warm water and a rag. On the other hand, washing out the air conducts with the high pressure washer works very well. Before you reinstall the air conditioner ducts, make sure that you completely dry them. A small pick is a good optional tool to clean up the small crevices in the interior side of the panels. If you forgot to clean up the seat legs, make sure that you do it before you put the seats back in the car. And here, after a big job, you can see how the car is clean and ready to put all the things back together. Rebuilding the car will go in an opposite order to the disassembling, which means backseat floor pilots are first, then carpeting, and so on. Before you close the central console, make sure that you plug in all the wiring. And 
And finally, after a big job, the car is built and ready to go. I hope the video was helpful for any of you who got their car flooded and feel free to share and to comment. Thanks for watching.